This is a BMW 3 Series NBT Evo system car. The original display screen is like this after startup. Now we upgrade it to an Android display with more functions. Warm tips before installation, before disassembly, please wrap the center console, armrest box, car gear and other positions in the car with soft fabrics such as towels and cloth pads to prevent scratches during disassembly. Pry out the air conditioning trim panel with the rocker, take out the connecting plug on the back of the air conditioning trim panel, and then place the air conditioning trim panel to one side. Remove the fixing screws of the host panel, take out the connecting plug on the back of the host panel, and then place the host panel of the original vehicle. Remove the fixing screws of the original display screen. Press the LVDS plug button on the back of the original display screen, then take out the LVDS cable plug, and then place the original display screen. Remove the fixing screws of the original host. Pull the original host outward, take out the original host, then hold the ISO plug buckle of the main engine, and pull it backward to take out the ISO plug of the host. Press the small buckle on the original ISO wire head with tweezers, and take out the 2P green optical fiber cable. Put the Android ISO harness inside the instrument panel, and thread the plug end to the base of the display screen. Connect the ISO plug of the original host to the male of Android ISO harness.
Connect the 2P green fiber optic cable to the Android ISO female and insert it firmly. Be careful not to insert it in the wrong direction. Connect the Android ISO cable female to the back of the original host. Insert the plug and press the buckle to make it firmly installed. Pry open the side cover of the storage box with the rocker. The thread the plug ends of 4G antenna and GPS, antenna through the storage box to the base of the display screen. Tear off the double-sided adhesive tape behind the 4G antenna and GPS antenna, and paste them on the dashboard. Plug the excess wire into the gap above the storage box, and press the exposed harness into the gap with a rocker. Open the storage box, and look for the hole where the thread can be threaded. If there is no hole, it needs to be drilled. Thread the plug end of the USB cable to the base of the display screen through the storage box, and place the female end of the USB cable into the co-driver's storage box. At this time, check that the plug ends of Android ISO harness, USB harness, 4G antenna and GPS antenna are on the display base. Install the side cover of the storage box after plugging the excess harness into the gap above the storage box. The next step is very important which will affect whether the Android device can make sound normal why please pay attention to installation and inspection.
Connect the 5V power cord on the Android ISO harness and the 5V power cord on the USB harness. Unplug the white USB cable of the original host and then connect it to the USB FMA LEA interface on the USB harness. Finally, connect the USB Mail B USB plug on the Android ISO harness to the USB interface of the original host. Place the excess exposed wire at the gap under, or on the side of the host. The position space on the back of the host is too small to place wire. Install the original host back to its original position, confirm that it is installed in place, and then lock and fix the original host. Connect the plugs of Android ISO harness, 4G antenna GPS antenna and USB harness to the back of Android device, and connect the LVDS mail of the original vehicle to the interface on the back of Android device. Install the Android device on the display base of the original vehicle, and fix the Android device with locking screws. Restore the connection plug on the back of the host panel, and then install it back in place.
Restore the connection plug on the back of the air conditioning trim panel, and then install it back to its original position. Ignition on power on the car, check whether the Android device can be started normally, and check whether all functions are normal. In the EVO system, you need to switch to the original vehicle system and set it to USB AUX audio mode so that the Android device can sound normally.